and folks. Uh, folks, it's good to be with you today. God bless you. It's good to be with you. God bless you. to be with you today. Uh, we're sharing the Word of God today. And uh, as I was saying in, in, in Mark chapter 1, that's what I was sharing with you. I was sharing about Mark chapter 1. And in Mark chapter 1, it says, Make straight the way of the Lord. And uh, that John, who was a prophet, John the Baptist, who was a great, great man of God, a great prophet, who, who had his head chopped off. John the Baptist had his head chopped off for preaching the word of God. And his passion, his passion, his passion was to point to Jesus Christ. And we're going to read it again in, Luke, in Mark chapter 1. In Mark chapter 1, we read the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee, the voice of the one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. It says, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Baptist was to prepare the way of the Lord. He was to point to Jesus Christ. He was not to point to himself. He was not to point to himself. He was to point to Jesus Christ. He was to lift up Jesus Christ. And we have to do that today. When we're preaching the gospel, we have to tell you that Jesus Christ was more than a prophet. Jesus was more than a prophet. He was a prophet, but he was a priest. He was a king, but he was more than these. He was the Son of God. He was the Son of God. He is the Son of God. The perfect Son of God. And as the Son of God, he has authority to be your Savior. He has authority to die for you. He has authority to claim the rights of humanity to listen to him. He is the Son of God. I bro, he is the Son of God. Prepare ye the way of the Lord means that Jesus is God in the flesh. Jesus is God in the flesh, my friend. And he is the one that we're to listen to, God in the flesh. Now, people say, well, the Bible is not the Word of God. I hear this all the time. Well, the Bible's not the Word of God. The Bible's not the Word of God. I don't see many people studying the Bible, first of all. I don't see many people engaging with the Bible. If they read the Bible, it's just to attack the Bible. But let me tell you something. The Bible has been found right thousands of times in archaeology. Thousands of times in archaeology. The Bible's been right all the time. And embarrass the scholars who attack the Bible. So be very careful to stand on the side of scholars that attack the Bible. Because you'll find those scholars will be shown up. They'll be shown up for what they are. It's prejudiced scholars that are not objective scholars. So, so don't be listening to the people that attack the Bible. Don't be listening to the, the television that attack the Bible. Because the prejudice, they're not really interested in true scholarship, in true objective scholarship. So don't be listening to them. Now this Bible, this book, tells you about Jesus the Son of God. It tells you about Jesus the Son of God. It tells you about Jesus the Son of God. Jesus the Son of God is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. God bless you, bro. Jesus is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is the Son of God. He says, prepare ye the way of the Lord. He has authority because he's the Lord. 
And Joseph Baptist is pointing to the Lord so that you can be saved. Because the only way to get saved is by the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth. The Son of God who came down and became a man in Jesus Christ. The Son of God who came down from heaven and became a man. And became the Son of God. He is the Lord. Make straight the way of the Lord. He's the answer to your questions. He's the answer to your problems. When you get angry and you fly off the handle, handle and you get angry, do you know why you get angry? It's because you are the king in your house. You are the king. And you think everything has to affect you. That's why you get angry. That's why you get angry. You get angry because you think you're the boss. You get angry because you think you're the number one. You get angry because you want everybody to dance to your tune. That's why you get angry. And you need to realize that you'll stop getting angry when you make way for the Lord. When you put your faith in Him and He forgives you of your sin and He cleanses you and washes you and makes you whiter than snow. When you put your faith in Jesus Christ, when you put your faith in Him, your sins will be forgiven. Your sins will be forgiven. You'll be made anew. You'll be clean. And you'll be right with God. And you'll be saved. And God will help you with your anger. But anger is just you saying that you're number one and that everybody has to dance to your tune. That's what anger is when you get angry. When you get angry at your boyfriend or girlfriend, when you get angry at your mama and your dada, when you get angry, it's you saying that you're number one and everybody has to dance to your tune. Well, if nobody has to dance to your tune, you have to dance to God's tune. Make straight the way of the Lord. Put Jesus first in your life. He'll take away the anger. The anger that resides in your heart that flares up every now and again. God will take that anger away if you believe in Jesus Christ. If you trust in Jesus Christ. And ask Him to forgive you. Ask Him to cleanse you. And wash you. And forgive you of your sin. And make you make him your savior, anger will be taken away from you and be weakened in your life so that you can not be angry like you are being angry at the moment. Anger serves no purpose, so no getting angry. Angry is not angry, getting angry is just you being number one. You saying everybody's got to do what I do. That's what anger is. When you get angry, you got to do what I do. That's what anger is. Anger is saying you're the number one. Anger is saying that I'm the boss and everybody's got to dance to my tune. Anger is idolatry. Anger is saying really that you're God. That's what anger is. But you're not God. And God's calling you to trust in Him. God's calling you to trust in Him. God's calling you to look to Him. God's calling you to have faith in Him. Believe in Him. That's what God is calling you to do. Make straight the way of the Lord. Make straight the way of the Lord. In other words, He's pointing to Jesus. John the Baptist is pointing to Jesus. And any preacher worth his salt will point you to Jesus. Any preacher that is preaching should point you to Jesus because he's the one that can help you. He's the one that can save you. He's the one that can forgive you. Jesus is the one that can set you free. It's Jesus Christ. Make straight the way of the Lord. Look to Jesus. Have faith in Jesus, my friend.